What is going on YouTube? So today I want to talk about the upcoming rumored first person shooter called Battlefield Police. And I just want to give my opinion on this rumored game that's supposed to be coming out later this year. And let's just get started. So this was leaked, I mean I think it was maybe like a couple months ago, talking about Battlefield Police. According to some leaked documents and stuff like that, some former um, EA developers that worked with uh, Need for Speed rivals and that, they got two choices. They could either be laid off or they could come and work for Visceral Games and they're working on a Battlefield type game that's kind of like police themed and stuff like that. So what my thoughts of this game is basically it's going to be like a Medal of Honor game but with the Battlefield name on top of it. We all know Battlefield Warfighter was the most recent game that came out from EA and it did not do that well. It was kind of it was similar to COD but kind of like a Battlefield type game and people got mixed reviews, some people really liked it, some people didn't, and there's like, they didn't really support the game all that well. And this could be really good for EA if they can do it right, because currently Battlefield 4, when it launched, it did terrible. There was, you basically could not play the game because there's so many bugs in the game, and COD Ghost, it's no one plays anymore, it's probably one of the worst CODs that they have ever made. And even with Battlefield 4, how many months are we in? Six months by now? Within the launch, maybe seven, I'm not sure. And there's still so many bugs, but if Visceral Games, the rumored developer of this game, if they can knock it down and make the game without all these bugs and make it actually playable and make it not make it as buggy as Battlefield 4, this could be really big for EA. So some people might be thinking, oh, this probably won't be happening. But if you look at Battlefield 4 with their DLCs, we already have Naval Strike came out in March for premium premium users and then everybody else by now. And how many more DLCs do we have? Two more DLCs and we're not even in summer yet. So if they release one in the summer and then maybe one in the fall type thing, that will leave room. I mean, you, you wouldn't have any more DLCs for the next year because... Isn't Battlefield supposed to last about two years to play in that? So doesn't that kind of lead into maybe a holiday season 2014 of this brand new Battlefield game? I kind of think so. And they, what they need to do is they make it fast-paced. They need to make it similar to COD players so they can get more COD players in this game. Because if they can get COD players to come and switch over to Battlefield by making Battlefield Police kind of like a COD game, that will create two things. Uh, it'll create more sales, but then also when you release the next game, like Battlefield 5 or Bad Company 3, they will just think, oh, it's been another Battlefield game, and then just pick it up no matter what, because not everybody does all their research and stuff, because they're all different games, but with the Battlefield name, they can get people into that yearly re um, release cycle with all these different games, which could be really good for EA. Um, some of the stuff you just have to do is you have to keep fast paced, you have to keep it infantry only. But these COD players, they, they don't really like all these helicopters, uh, boats, and stuff like that. They just want to shoot people, have it fast paced, and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure on kill streaks if they should include it or not. It's kind of iffy um, because Battlefield's not really known for kill streaks. I know they had kill streaks in Medal of Honor, but I don't know. If they can do it well, it would be really good. Um, they have to make it playable with, with all, all these bugs. If they can do that, it would be a really good game. If not, no one's going to pick it up. And it will just be one of those terrible games like Medal of Honor was and all stuff like that. But they also have to make it balanced. And since they're probably going to be using the Frostbite 3 engine, they have to improve the net code. Um, so you don't have some problems similar to like Battlefield 4. And... With all the customization stuff they have currently in Battlefield 4 and stuff like that, it would be really cool to see that implement over into Battlefield Police and stuff like that. So I'm, me personally, I'm really looking forward to that because for me, I prefer Battlefield games like Domination, like they implemented in Battlefield 4 and Team Deathmatch and stuff like that because I just prefer that better. I'm not 
I'm not the best with all the vehicle stuff and stuff like that. So I would hi I would pick this game up if it came out and it's actually good. And I feel like a lot of these other Call of Duty players would do the same thing. Uh, so that's basically it. Leave me down in the comment section below if you pick up the game, if you have any thoughts upon this upcoming new first person shooter. And that's basically it. If you haven't already, make sure you smack that like button, subscribe button, because it really helps on my channel. And I'll see you next time.